it is that time again. It's the time of year where the watch community will probably incorrectly predict the new Rolex releases. Uh, but this year is a little bit different, a little bit more special because we have a few model anniversary years. And to start off with, it's the 70th year anniversary of the Submariner. So let's get into it, but please do like and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. Something to consider here is it was only like three years ago, 2020, I think, that we had the new Submariner model. So the slimmer lugs, the, the tapered bracelet, the new movement. 41 mil case um so that makes me think that they won't they won't do much i don't think they'll make any drastic changes to the sub that we all know and love what they might do instead though is rolex might introduce a color change or a precious metal variation we might actually see a full gold submariner with uh, the green dial and i remember seeing this maybe maybe a few years ago this has been talked about for years because this was thought to be an actual rolex leak uh, but maybe this year we will see it who knows? Rolex do like to use green for their anniversary years, as we've seen with the 50th year anniversary, the Kermit, the pre-ceramic bezel Submariner. So who knows? Maybe, maybe. And if not, maybe a sub will be introduced that's just a completely different color. We've seen it with the GMT last year, a new color on the bezel with the green, the Sprite. If not green, then maybe we just see like a color variation with the dial or maybe like a different color bezel, like a purple. I don't think so, but a different dial color would be quite fun, I guess. We're also celebrating the 60th year anniversary of the Daytona. So, I, and I say, I say celebrate. I mean, <laughs> we're not really celebrating, are we? I mean, uh, Rolex will be cut commemorating the 60th year of the Daytona, um, of it being in production. So you would imagine that they will just release some sort of watch to celebrate this. We hope they would release a watch to celebrate 60 years like they did with 50 years with the Platinum Daytona. I think there are five variations of the Platinum. So I, I, I don't think they'll release a variation of the Platinum to commemorate this year, the 60 years, but maybe they'll just do something with uh, the steel uh, Daytona and maybe they'll give us a full white dial. Uh, so including the, the white sub dials being white as well. I mean, or maybe like a, a burgundy maroon color dial. That would be, that would be interesting. There was also this very, very skeptical leak, which to be honest, guys, like I'm not going to say this seriously because it's actually in a Rolex box. That's the first thing, but also, yeah, it, it's, it's just not legit, but I thought I'd have a look at it. Um, blue bezel Daytona. It probably would look very nice. It probably would be very popular, uh, especially if it was in steel, but the likelihood of this being legit is very small. I get that. Um, but again, like I said before with the sub, the Rolex like their green anniversary is. So maybe we will see the Hulk toner. Maybe. I'm just speculating. I wonder what people's opinion, what's your, what would your opinion be on a Hulk toner? imagine nobody would like it. The GMT, now Rolex have done a lot with their GMT models in the last 10 years. You know, last year we got the left-hand drive Sprite, the new split dial green black um, GMT, and I think it was, it was very popular on both the, the Jubilee and uh, the Oyster bracelet. Now that makes me think that they probably won't do much. You know, the Pepsi and the, the Batman were new in the last decade, so... But you know, I'm here to speculate. So what I will put forward into this prediction argument is maybe we'll see what's been talked about for many, many years, actually probably like five or six years now, maybe longer, um, the ceramic Coke GMT. Very nice, the red and black. I had the pre-ceramic version of this, then I'll discontinued uh, GMT Coke. And I regret selling it, um, as many people will when they look back. If nobody talked about this ceramic Coke, GMT, they probably would release it. I, I can imagine that Rolex have produced certain watches and then just thought, you know what, let's not release it because, I don't know, I don't know. Rolex always do what we don't expect and pretty much what we don't want to see in most cases, but... Um, let's also not forget about a seriously underrated watch, in my opinion, the now discontinued 116710LN, um, the full black GMT. Maybe this will get a makeover. Maybe the Rolex will release a uh, Jubilee version of this. Uh, that would be nice. I, I wouldn't mind that. I think that'd be really classy. One guarantee, though, that we will see with the GMT is the Unicorn GMT. Yes, the Cyclops and the crown at 12 o'clock. This is a guarantee. This is the only one. <laughs> it it makes me it makes me laugh when I see this. I don't know who 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 did this, but it's brilliant. I love it. Um, 70 years also of the Explorer. Now, 
another anniversary, 70 years of the Explorer, 70 years in production for the Explorer. That's, um, that's quite an achievement. The last Explorer update, I think it was the, the introduction of the two-tone on 36 mil, which caused outrage. People didn't like it. And I, I understand the argument because it's a, an ex, an adventure expedition explorer watch. So why would you need a, in precious metal? But Rolex do what Rolex do, right? Um, and with that said, what's to say that there won't be an explorer full precious metal? A full yellow gold 36 mil explorer. Wouldn't that be a sight? Would I like it? Probably not. But maybe maybe rolex will take it one step further and release it with the full gold the sky dweller now the, i think one of the best concept rolex designs that i've ever seen is this uh ice blue dial sky dweller steel or white gold either way i think this would be absolutely amazing looks incredible and yeah i, I would actually love to see this dial on more watches we see it um, with the, the day date, um, the new and the old, I just love the ice blue dial. So maybe, hopefully that would be, that would be incredible. I've also seen some sketches of like a, uh, a rainbow gem set bezel sky dweller as well, which I can't say I like too much, but so the Explorer 2 update, maybe doubt it will happen this year, but if it did, what would be, what would be the opinion of a ceramic bezel Explorer 2. I don't think it would go down very well, but it, it using Rolex logic and progression, it makes sense. You look at the GMT, the Sub, the Daytona, the updates that they've had, the makeovers have now all included a ceramic a ceramic bezel. So I've seen these mock designs of the Explorer 2 in, in white and black with the ceramic bezel. And I think, do you know what? The black on black looks very good. Aesthetically looks very very nice i would not complain if that was to be released i don't think the, the the white dial black bezel looks that great but who knows i wouldn't buy an explorer 2 anyway just because at the moment it's 42 mil is too big and i'm just not a fan of how it wears on my wrist but i see the appeal for sure it looks tasty does anyone agree it looks it looks good yeah what else air king no uh, date just maybe we'll maybe we'll see a full precious metal date just like we have in the past wouldn't that be something not to be mistaken for uh, a day date so that would be that would be quite something pearl master ladies watch yeah the, there'll be a bunch of new ladies watches but to summarize rolex won't do any of this this will all be incorrect rolex will do what they want to do people will moan at whatever rolex do and then over time after like six to twelve months people will start to like it that's just what happens but you know i am here to speculate just to you know throw some ideas out there um, but anyway, with the Rolex increase in price again, whatever happens, whatever they put out, Rolex will probably make a lot of money. That is for sure. That is the only guarantee in this video that they will make bucket loads of money. So congrats, Rolex. Uh, please give this video a like to support the channel and subscribe right now if you want to see more watch content. Much love, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.